Welcome, Sagittarians. Happy birthday. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back and thank you for the wonderful um, energies. I'm sorry I'm under the weather, but I'm still a reading. Got to go on. Happy Thanksgiving to the people who are celebrating Thanksgiving. So, Sagis, um, what's happening in this time period for you guys is very beautiful. Because as you can see, um, this is for the people who were born 25th um, of November until the um, 1st of December, okay? So that's 25th of uh, November until the 1st of December. Okay, Saji, I'm sorry for my voice, but I can't help it. All right, so what is happening here? And remember, right after your birthday, all of this energy is going to be affecting you in this year. This is your year 2019. You're just starting your year 2019. So as you see um, coming around, as you see coming around is that a magician, um, the magician is yes, whatever you decide to do is a yes okay in this year going right back to your birthday 2020 is a yes money is going to be coming in some of you are going to be very nurturing the energy of the sun this is just so powerful and so positive because positive alignment of energy is coming up for each and every person and the healing so let's say that you were sick and you weren't feeling well um you're going to be feeling much better. A healing is coming up and this is going to be good. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, which a lot of people are going to be very, very fortunate. And whoever is born on the 25th, whatever you decide to do, fortune is on your side. Now, for whoever is born on the 30th of November, I'm seeing that this year is going to be a year where you have to find inner strength to deal with issues and situations around you. So, be aware and aligned with the energies um, because I'm seeing in relationship you have to find inner strength to deal with your relationships in this year, okay? So as I said with relationships, um, the Two of Cups came out and new love is going to be coming in. The Two of Cups came out and new love is going to be coming in. So whatever is transpiring, and I'm sorry, but I said love, and it came out. So um, a lot of people could be getting married. A lot of people could be getting married in um, this year. Um, um, uh, people could be getting pregnant and having babies. So that is also coming up, okay? So I'm seeing the Two of Cups. This is um, very wonderful. But first, we're looking at the people who were born on the 25th. Now, the energy of the magician is here. And what that is saying for you, Sagittarian, is that whatever that you wanted, go for it because it's going to be good, okay? So in work, I am seeing... Um, oh my God, go for it. Whatever is happening in work, go for it. If you want to start a new business, if you want to, um, if you want to start a new business, if you, um, want a new promotion or that sort of a thing is definitely going to be coming up because I'm seeing people are going to be helping you to make sure that, um, be, um, a part of your life in this. So work, you're going to be focusing um, on work. So for the people who are born on 25th of November, work is going to be your focus in this year that is coming up. And I'm seeing that you're going to be receiving some help. Now, whatever is transpiring at work, I'm seeing you working and some of you could be connecting um, with um, a Gemini or a Virgo. Some of you could be connecting with a Gemini or a Virgo at work. But I'm seeing a Taurus is going to be helping some of you to balance out issues and situation at work. I'm seeing this Taurus really care about you and really wants to help you to move forward. So whoever this person is in the situation, this organization, I'm seeing you're going to be very, very successful. Most of you would work. Success is going to be there. Money is not going to be an issue neither because you're going to be creating your own financial stability and your own financial abundance. Whatever you want, go for it. Go for it. Right up to your birthday, to your next birthday, go for it. And it's going to be good, okay? Let's see what's um, coming out 
um, before I go any further, because a lot of you want me to timestamp these video, um, I will try to see. I can't promise you, but I, I do understand why you want these videos to be timestamped, but I can't really promise you, okay? So, for the people who were born on the 25th of November, what else is coming up? Because I'm seeing work is going to be good. I'm seeing you guys are going to be hard at work. I'm seeing people in corporation organization is going to be coming in to help you to make sure whatever you want. Yes. So I'm seeing, especially you men, businessmen, men in business or men who wants to start business. It is just going to be fabulous. It's going to be fantastic. Go for it because it's going to bring you positive alignment of energy. Okay. So you guys have eight and six, one, eight and six. And, um, 10 28 use these numbers however they affect you use these numbers because what i'm saying and what people are telling me is that these numbers have been helping them out in whatever way they're helping them out they're being helped okay now um for the people who were born under 20 um for the people who were born under 20 six you um money is going to be coming in for you i'm seeing some deceptiveness at play um there is some deceptiveness at play um the uh, energy of the empress i see some deceptiveness at play it could be with your children family members that um is going to want to seal your financial stability or your assets I'm seeing this at play. So let's ask, what is that all about? Emotion. So people are going to want to play with your emotion and steal your emotion. People are going to be very deceptive. Your emotion is going to be off balance in this year. There is two energy from the moon. And it has to do with um, uh, an Aquarians. If you're in a relationship with Aquarians or that sort of a thing. I'm seeing really some deceptive move that has transpired, but I'm seeing this move is going to be coming out because people are going to be finding out. You're going to be um, emotionally um, deprived, okay? Because you're going to be finding out something about your money and you're going to be very emotionally deprived that some um, deceptiveness has transpired with your money. Some of you, this is if you're a woman, you have kids you're going to be having some emotional issues to do with the kids because it's coming up here um the nurturing energy of the mother some of you are going to be have to be dealing with a capricorn whoever this capricorn is and whatever has to inspire um you could have done some deceptive um things to this capricorn and it's all going to be coming out so whatever is to inspire you got to be on your good foot because the th everything is going to be coming out. Now, your numbers is going to be 32, 4, 3, and 7. 32, um, 4, 3, and 7. Then we're looking at the people who were born on the 20, uh, um, the 27th. And we have success with your um, company, success with your work. Um uh success the worries is going to be over success if you were having an issue to deal with us um uh, gemini you're going to be very successful over this whatever the issue is that you had with a corporation or organization institute say i'm seeing you successful over this if you're dealing with a gemini or an aries or someone who have misused their power i'm seeing you being very success over this situation so some of you were really, really, really dealing with some deceptive situation with an or, or a corporation organization. And um, the energy of the sun is coming up to show up a corporation of an organization for something deceptive that they have done. Okay. And um, that is going to bring you um, to a crossroads in your life. That is going to bring you to a crossroads in your life. Now, whatever this deceptive is it's good to ask for a um 
it's good to um ask for a a reading because um when you ask for a personalized reading we be able to see what was this decision and deceptiveness and what has transpired okay um really some some worries but you know the energy of the sun is going to bring you some success but i'm seeing you come to a crossroad in this year and you're as you come to this crossroad you're going to make a decision um you guys have number four 19 22 and nine four 19 22 and nine okay there is some worries because you're going to be receiving message at your auto crossroad as we look at the people who were born on the 28th, the energy of the star is here. It's going to be good. Your business is going to be good. You're going to be successful at work. Work is going to be good. Everything is going to be in an alignment of flow. Your project, your business is going to be ill. Whatever the issues that was blocking a project or a business, this is definitely going to be healed. And the wheel, the, the wheel of fortune is here. So this is um, basically aligning you where it's ending a situation and opening positive new alignments of energy, which is absolutely fabulous for you guys. Because what is transpiring is that at work, if you had issues with work or a project or that sort of a thing, but if you had um, issues in your life situation that was stuck, not moving, there is going to be coming in a healing so um especially um if you have a business that you have been trying and trying and trying it wasn't succeeding it's going to start rolling again okay it's definitely going to start rolling again because people are going to be realizing what has happened in transpire and it's it's uh, they're going to be releasing whatever blockage there was so i'm seeing money coming in and um money is definitely coming in if there was health issue i'm seeing that is going to be over <coughs> sorry whatever deceptiveness that was happening and transpiring i'm seeing a healing coming in so that is good so for people who were born on the 28th of november i'm seeing healing a situation it has been healed okay a transition and a healing with a situation some of you could be going away to do healing modal courses or maybe going overseas to do healing whatever is happening or transpiring i'm seeing this is really coming up so um that energy is here some of you if someone in your family was sick i'm seeing a healing coming in for that person okay now for the people who um your numbers is going to be 21 3 um the star is 17 and 7. if you notice you guys are going to have a lot of money and if you think to go international with your business or to go to another city or to go somewhere else for work it's it's going to be good okay again this is an healing energy so an healing energy a lot of you are going to be traveling to receive um healing because i'm seeing the wheel of fortune is coming in and um a lot of you are going to be um moving forward looking turning your back at something that um is serving you and i'm seeing the wheel of fortune is bringing you to something much better so whatever it is is it a relationship is it work is it a situation that has been bothering you for a very long time that has been affecting your life i'm seeing some of you having an healing to do with family some of you are moving out of um relationship that no longer serve you some of you are moving out of work that no longer serve you some of you are changing career that no longer serving you but it's as if you understand that this year a change has to come in and this is good some of you are going to be going towards more healing energy work and that sort of a thing i'm seeing some of you if there was an issue between you and uh, pisces um there is going to be a change of energy in your life okay so definitely um people between the ages of uh, um 18 and 30 what is going to be transpiring is that i'm seeing an elan between you and a, a um yeah this is pisces i'm seeing 
a heel in between you and a Virgo. I'm seeing a heel in between you and a Leo. Whatever the issue is and the situation was and is, I'm seeing these healings really coming up, and this is going to be good. Your numbers are going to be 14, 30, um, 10, and 8. 14, 30, 10, and 8. Okay. Alrighty. Let's look at the people who were born on the 30th of November. I am seeing that you're carrying some burdens. Whatever this is, I'm seeing you carrying some burdens. Whatever is happening, I'm seeing you carrying some burdens and heartbreak. This year for you guys is really a rough year. Um, so the people who were born on the 30th of, uh, it's as if you're going through some changes. It's as if you're really, really going through some changes where you're dealing with a Leo and you're carrying some burdens and you're having heartaches, whatever that is happening and transpiring, I'm seeing you have to push through this year, these burdens, these 10 of ones, and it's because of jealousy and deceptiveness. Okay. So some of you are going to be dealing with an um, Sagittarius. Some of you are going to be dealing with a Leo. Some of you are going to be dealing with a Libran and there is some deceptiveness and jealousy heartaches, um, lies, and deceitfulness, what is coming up. So be aware of this in this year. It's not looking good for you guys. Whatever is happening and transpiring, it's really not looking good. I'm seeing heartache um, because of a Virgo of Dun um, or a Leah, a Virgo, a Sagittarius, heartaches with a Sagittarius, archaica, with a Virgo, someone has done something that is going to come out, and I'm seeing you having a heart, heartache and heartbreak with that. There is a lot of jealousy and a lot of burdens that is created because there's a lot of lies and jealousy and burdens that is created. Okay, I'm seeing some of you getting married, some of you are going to connect with an organization. I'm seeing new love coming in, new babies are being born. This is so wonderful for the people who were born on the 1st of December. So um, for um, the people who were born on the 29th, you have the Wheel of Fortune, you are Ophiosis. So the people who were born on the 29th, you are Ophiosis. So um, Ophiosis begin on the 29th. Um, people on the 30th is an ophiosis, but you're going to be coming in some problem because um, of lies and deceptiveness. Okay. I got to look at yours again because I'm seeing and write these number down um, 10, um, 8, and um, uh, 3 of swords. 10, 8, 3 of swords. Okay. What is going to be this heartbreak? What is this heartbreak over? It's jealousy, lies, and deception. The heartbreaks, secrets, secrets of um, an Aquarius. An Aquarius have some secret. Whoever this person is, could be someone that you're connect with, connected to. There is secrets. A lover have a secret. Whoever this lover is, this person have a secret. Whatever is the secret, you're going to be finding it out. Okay. A lot of you are going to be meet, meeting your twin flame and soulmate. Um, there are secrets that has been kept from you guys who were born on the 30th. Okay. And it can, you're dealing with an Aquarian, an Aquarian, six of swords, the energy of an Aquarian secrets. And you're going to be turning your back and walking away. So that's, you guys are having this. And it has to do with your partner, someone who you know, or someone who cares about you. It has to deal with that person. Um, a lot of you are going to be um, who were born on the, um, the 1st of December. It's going to be an extremely good year. If you wanted to have kids, babies, or children, extremely good year. Whatever that is happening and transpiring is going to be a really fantastic, fantastic year. Okay absolutely brilliant year all righty here we go so i did say it's a year of new partnership and it's good it is a year of new partnership so a chance meeting is no mistake it is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set 
the wheels in motion for the fruitation of your priors. Pray, pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing that um, new partnership is going to be made. So uh, babies, new babies coming in, that sort of a thing. New babies, um, new lovers, um, twin flame soulmates are coming in. Business partnership and that sort of a thing. A lot of situation is going to be transpiring. A lot of um, issues is going to be resolved um, for the people who were born the second of this, uh, the first of December. You have the energy of two nineteen six and one two nineteen six and one. So new partnerships are going to be coming in, new love, um, and some of you could be meeting these people in. Uh, corporations institutes a corporation so be aware of that okay i love you guys and i'm saying namaste until next time um happy thanksgiving please enjoy your week remember um to give someone who doesn't have it and um ladies and gentlemen be kind to yourself namaste